Shogeki no Soma, chapter 270, the real culprit. All right, guys, so in last week's chapter, we basically had Megami have a Shokugeki against the monarch, and basically she came out on top, basically cooking him a child's hospitality dish, but instead of the curry, she made gumbo, realizing that he was from the south of southern more areas of America, Knowing that he had eaten gumbo, it was going to really impact him. And obviously, she got away with the victory, being the 10th seat. That was awesome. And it's very interesting to see his reaction. He kind of wanted a loving figure and all that kind of jazz. But anyway, guys, let's get into this week's chapter. I'm looking forward to it because we got Mother Megami at the end of last week's chapter. I'm really curious about how this is going to play out this week. Anyway, let's get straight to this week's chapter. Daybreak. After yesterday evening's match. Alright, eat up while it's still warm. You can have seconds of the rice too. Megami broke through Monarch with motherliness and Hi, yes, Mama Megami! Itakimasu! <laughs> I love it! So he's calling her Mama Megami. That is so awesome. Huh? Have another match with me! Oh, good, it's come down. It's fine already. <laughs> and the missing wind vane bars and loco halter are open for business again. The incident is settled. No way. I'm a chef too. <laughs> no way. I'm a chef too. If I can't win with my skill, how can I face my customers? He's brimming with energy. So <laughs> maybe he's like, hmm. <laughs> well, it certainly isn't disgusting. All right, so it looks like he's coming back to his senses. At any rate, it seems like this Usen town will settle back down. Yep. So now it looks like we're moving on to so. Yep, so that's that. It was a breeze with Storm to make the culprit re reform himself. <laughs> He's like, yeah, a piece of piss. You should be, get, you should be grateful to Tadoka Nakiri. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> the mission was, a, was accomplished perfectly. It's not like you resolved anything yourself. So quit sounding so proud of yourself. Proud of yourself, you can hit a gun. He's like, yeah, I got this, yeah. <laughs> I love it so much, it's just being sober. Anyway, time for breakfast. But wait, that wasn't the important part. Why did Les Cuisine Noyers invade this country? So Aaron is working out there. If we don't get that out in the open, we can't say the whole thing is settled. Ah, it's about time for the reports from the other students to come in. Huh? Others? You mean there were other peoples besides us out on mission? Ooh, who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? All right, issue thirty on side now. All right, we don't care about that. Chapter two seventy, the real cup, Yokohama Port. I was wondering who would be calling. Hey, Joe Yukiira, how do you know this number? What you got it from the kitty? I don't know. I see. All right, so who's this? Who's this? this... Oh, it's Eisen. It's Eisen. Yeah, I had a little trouble. I found the midnight chef who was stirring up trouble in the air. Or rather, I captured him. Who's that? Fuck it, it's Aizen. Aizen. Now to be begin the interrogation. Having this guy wriggling around was disrupting my business. Elite 10, 8C. Aizen, Ezio. Alright, so he's still the 8C. So Aizen's still the 8. Kobe Chinatown. Hey, hey. Why did you invade us? Why were you trying to do something? And Shokugeki's, where did you hear about that? Tell me, tell me. So we got Kuge. Isn't it weird for, my, for so many noise to come to Japan all at once? Ain't it a bit unnatural be unnatural if you weren't planning something? So he's like tapping this guy. Right. Is how I'm questioning them. Ah, Yuki, Yuki Hirachin. Onsen Manju, Bagisem Onsen Manju. Elite 10, third seat. Kuga Tenuru. So Kuga's the third seat. All right. Woo. Oh my god, Ishiki! Ishiki! Yeah, that's right. So we got Kanazawa Castle down. Yeah, that's right. I've also captured an invader here. He's really tight lip. I wonder just what I should do to get him to feel like talking. Elite 10, second seat. 
Ishki Satoshi. All right, so we've got the second seat, the third seat, and the eighth seat. Ishki's the second, Kuga the third, uh, Aizen the eighth. Oh, this is awesome. Osaka, Dotonbori. Yes, I'll think of something. Good luck out there, Yuki Hirakun. Huh? Said you're going to question me anyway. Then, how about some torture? Hee <laughs> hee. That's just normal in the underworld. And anyway, it's been attacked by a Lolita like you. Hee <laughs> hee. That fits my kinks just perfectly. Kill yourself. Elite 10, Night Sea, Kinokune Nene. Woo! So Kinokune is the Night Sea. Woo! This is awesome. Thank you very much. Yukihira. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something here. Okay. Hakata Bay. I'll call back later. Nichan, he's getting away. Stop your boat. Stop the boat this instant. Uh, Elite 10. 17. Takumi Aladini. Takumi is the 17. Oi! Wait up, no! <laughs> huh? They're in a situation like that. Everyone is sure working out. So we got some more confirmations of seats. Oh, we can see Ishki. I love Ishki, man. That made me so happy. Uh, they really are. And what Nakiri said makes sense too. If we keep getting invaded one after the other, then it will be unbearable. Well, I guess we should try to interrogate him too. Hey, mister. Did you hear about Shokugeki? Huh? Why do I have to tell... Why do I have to tell Kimi that? Uh, could you please tell us something, please, Monaxa? Hey! I'll tell you! <laughs> I love it! So he's like literally ignoring Soma, but he's going to tell Megumi. I love it! That night, we were tasked with pre preparing food for a certain party. A giant banquet with countless mafia families, all meeting under one roof. Normally, us midnight chefs do our jobs alone. But that banquet was particularly large, so several noirs were employed. It's rare for us noirs to cross paths. The atmosphere in the kitchen was explosive. It wouldn't have been weird for someone to get knifed at any point. Please look down at me, even more with those cold eyes. So he's getting off the neck. Mixed up in all of that, there was one noir who conquered that entire party. Okay, so see we're going to find out who's behind all this. That amazing food was like nothing I'd ever seen. Otherworldly techniques and ideas gushed out on top of the plates. The guests and even us, were all, we were all blown away by the things he sent out. Megumi san, you are a wonderful chef, but his plate was on a completely different level. So they're getting information about this guy. Okay. And then he said, do you know the term Shokugeki Desu? Okay. A match where if the opponent is a chef, you can insist on any demand you want. Even chefs from that far eastern island country. Far, from that far eastern island country. Their pride is high. So if you just belittle them a bit, they'll go along with it. Okay, so we get our first glimpse at the guy who's behind this. That's absurd! Like, wait, isn't he the root of all this then? Why is he causing so much trouble? Who the hell is that guy? No clue. I told you Desho and Noirs hardly ever meet each other. Okay? You at least saw his face, right? He covered his face with his chef hat and a bandana. His nationality? Who knows? We just spoke in English. Yeah. Really? Then you don't know his name either. Ah, that's right. He did say his name. Oh, really? That's important! Really crucial! So it's like, yay! <laughs> Alright. Um, um, come on, I'm begging you here! What was it? Some name I'd never heard before. Hmm? Huh? Yeah, don't get annoyed. Y you can do it! <laughs> get ah, oh yeah, I remember now! Cyber did- <gasps> No! Cyber! No! No, is this- Joichiro Cyber. Cyber? I've never heard of that name. Well, to be so expected, I suppose. What language is that? Could be Japanese too, I guess. So we've got Megumi. Huh? What's the matter, you two? Cyber. It was Cyber. <gasps> no way! No way! It's Soma's dad. He's the one behind this. The shadow of Soma's father is behind this incident. Chapter 270, end. No fucking way!
Cyber's behind this? Why? Like, why is he doing it? No way. Anyway, guys, look, just hang on a second. We're going to jump straight to the review. All right, guys. So, right off the back, seemingly, it's Cyber. Joey Chudo, Cyber, the former second seat, Soma's father, is the one who started all of this. What the hell? Dude, like, honestly, I am, like, I'm shitting bricks right now. Like, dude, what a bombshell the drop in Chapter 270, the real culprit. I was thinking, maybe this is someone we don't know, and it's just going to be like, eh, whatever. But to have Cyber, Joey Twitter, Cyber, be dropped as the one Behind this, boom, mind fucking blown. Oh my fucking god. Guys, this chapter, honestly, as I was reading, it was funny. We got to find out a few things. So I'm going to come back to the whole cyber thing. We got to find out the, the second, third, eighth, and ninth seats. We got, uh, obviously, we know so much the first. We got Ishki is the second seat. Cougar, the third seat. Aizen, the eighth seat. And then Nene Kune, the ninth seat. So we now know the entire Elite 10. From 1 to 10. We know all of them. Oh yeah, and also, Takumi is, I believe he was the seventh seat. Give me a second, I'm just going to jump back just to make sure. Yes, so Takumi is the seventh seat. Alright, so we've got all 10 seats, alright? We've got Soma, Ishiki, Kuga, uh, Hayama, Kurakiba, no, yeah, Soma, Ishiki, Kuga, Hayama, Kurakiba, Alice, Takumi, uh, Aizen, Nenekuni, Megami. That is our Elite 10, okay? So that's the other thing we found out in this chapter. We also found out, and I'm just jumping back to the end here. We also found out that they were all also on missions dealing with these midnight chefs. Some of them were by themselves. Others were in teams. You know, Takumi was with his brother Isami, right? But, and everybody else was seemingly by themselves, except for Kurokiba, Hanayama, and Alice. They seemingly are still at the school, right? Everybody else was out on these missions and they all were dealing with these midnight chefs. Seeing they have all been defeated, they've all been captured, the only one being Takumi still having to capture his because he was similarly getting away. But then, and overall, look, that was some pretty good stuff. We got to find out the rest of the Elite 10, which is pretty cool. I like that. But this chapter was kind of like, eh, da, 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 you know, whatever. It wasn't until the fall, I believe it's like the the second last page. We go, oh, I remember his name. Saiba Desu. Saiba. We're, we're like, wait, nah. Saiba. And then we get confirmation on the very final page. We see Saiba, all dark in black, in his normal, traditional pose that we always see him in. Hands in his pocket, walking. Why is Cyber doing this? Why is he behind this? You know, is he behind this because he wants to? Or is he behind this because he has to? What the hell is going on? I got no idea. Alright? He was so prevalent in dealing to get rid of Aizami. Why the hell would he now go against Erena? When he was on the rebel side. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Why the hell is Cyber doing this? What is the purpose of this? I got no fucking idea. And the bombshell. Oh my god. Of it being Cyber is huge. Guys. It is 
massive. Like, oh my God. This turned an average chapter with some pretty awesome stuff into a phenomenal chapter. The mystery, the theories that are going to come out are crazy. Why the hell is Cyber doing this? Why the hell is he now a midnight chef or a chef noir, whatever you want to go with? Why is he behind this? Is he the actual real culprit or is he being manipulated behind the scenes? What is going on? What is he thinking? We have no freaking idea. This was a massive bombshell, guys. I'm losing my shit. I'm sure a lot of you guys are losing your shit as well. This was fucking crazy. That's why, guys, this week, the art was solid. The bombshell at the end was massive. Dude, this is going to be an insane arc. If this is what's going on, and the next villain is going to be Saber that Soma has to deal with, that is crazy. That is mentally mind-blowing. How the hell is Soma, Soma, going to deal with his father, the guy who taught him to cook, the guy who's pretty much taught him everything he knows about cooking? How is he going to deal with this? How is Cyber going to go about this? I don't know. Oh, my God. I'm going to give this chapter 4 out of 5. Brilliant fucking chapter. The bombshell has blown my fucking mind. I cannot wait for next week. Like, next week, just fucking come now. I need to know more. I need to see chapter 271 like fucking yesterday. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. Let me know in that comment section below. What do you guys think? What the hell do you think is going on? Because I sure as hell have no freaking idea what the hell is going on. I'm losing my mind here, guys. Smash that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It's completely and totally free. And you know we all like that free shit. Dingle that bell, guys, because it's going to dangle every time I upload. And as always, guys, I'm free no one. You guys are awesome. This chapter was phenomenal. And I'll see you guys next time with another live reaction and review. Peace.